CBC Counseling Office presents Understanding Your Learning Styles. Once upon a time, there were four superheroes with four different powers. Kinesthetic man loves movement and physical activity, has a strong sense of touch, dances until his shoes fall off. Visual picture woman likes to see rather than hear, enjoys art and mapping. Favorite quote, seeing is believing. Auditory woman has good listening skills, has a big mouth, but also has big ears. Likes to have discussions, even discussions about discussions. Visual reading man gets lost in library on purpose. Eats health of its soup only after reading the letters. Doesn't think a picture is worth a thousand words. In the hall of the school lies one sneaky supervillain, making it hard for us to learn. His name is Dr. F. He loves to go to parties uninvited, and even worse, classrooms. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. I really hope everybody have a plenty of rest because this week we're going to start this chapter 7 in our advanced algebra. Yes? You mean math? Yes, like math, but for big guys. So, who's ready to learn here? Uh, I am. Oh, what's wrong? What's, who what? Are, who are you? What? I'll greet you all. <laughs> Dr. F has hypnotized the students with his spell and his body odor. When the students are hypnotized, it's really, really hard for them to process knowledge, especially very, very, very complex problems. Meanwhile, in the superhero's poorly lit fortress, they discuss the situation Dr. F has created. Dr. F has been causing a lot of trouble. We must do something. As you can see, the students are in very trouble. Oh yeah. Okay, we should make a plan. Uh, first off, laundry, eggs, hit the gym, save the world from Dr. F. Wait a minute! I think I'm seeing something! What is it? What is it? Oh. I think he's more dangerous than now we hear. Let's say the word. The superheroes are on their way to help the students. We don't have time for this. We are here. Oh my god. The spell is really strong. Wow. Listen to me. You're all enchanted. Dr. F has put a spell on you. He's made it very difficult for you guys to learn. Wake up! Wake up! In order to break the spell, we have to get you in touch with your true powers. That means we have to know what kind of a learning style you have. In all of us, we have four distinct powers, but in each of us, one is stronger than the rest. Now, we're gonna find out what your power is. People with visual reading preferences enjoy reading and would rather read than be read to. Often they reread silently, rewrite notes and ideas. People with kinesthetic preferences need to move around a lot. They can't sit still for a long period. They like to experiment and practice. They respond to movement, gestures, dance, and often want to act things out. They may have difficulty remembering a place 
unless they've actually been there. And they often have messy handwriting and use a finger as a pointer while reading. People with auditory preferences talk to themselves and often like to talk through problems. They read aloud and may repeat words to hear them. They are good speakers, speak in rhythmic patterns, they don't visualize well, often find writing difficult, they are talkative and love discussion. They also can find it difficult to read facial and body language. People with visual preferences remember what they see rather than what they hear. Often they forget to relay verbal messages. They need the whole picture before they have a clear idea. They respond to color, art, and mapping. They like to arrange their work and their workspace. They may know what to say, but may have difficulty coming up with the right words. They like to plan and are often good organizers. They would rather verbal instructions be repeated. The superheroes help the students understand that we use all four preferences and we put them in order to know where to start. The heroes will now need to train them to identify strategies that will work best for the students. There may be one prominent strength area or students can play with strategies from each preference. For a visual reading preference, you may like to read and write about what you are learning ask for handouts and readings. You should utilize manuals and written instructions. Rewrite notes and terms multiple times. Take complete lecture notes and turn pictures and diagrams into words. For a kinesthetic preference, you may like to act out and touch what you are learning. You should ask for breaks. You should also use games and role playing for learning and for presentations. Also, ask for opportunities to move about physically. Now, if you have an auditory preference, you may like to hear and talk about what you are learning. You should attend lectures and ask for discussion time. Also, form a study group. Use rhythm to help you remember things. And, whenever possible, collect data through interviews and questionnaires. Now. If you have a visual preference, you may like to see what you are learning. Look for charts, diagrams, pictures. Use highlighters. Replace words with symbols. Utilize videos, computer resources, and do a demonstration rather than a speech. After the students received help from the four superheroes, they wrote a very hard test. Let's see how they did. But how is this possible? Oh, everybody gets eight glasses. <laughs> 